questions. Do you? Do you dare ask? Man in, man in a very bold pink check shirt. <laughs> do you dare ask a question? Okay, okay, feel my horn coming through. Do you realize he's a bold shot, right? Be careful. Stand up so that everybody can see what is your name? Jimmy. Jimmy, okay, just turn around, Jimmy, so everybody can get the full joy and delight. Now turn back to me. Jimmy, what is your question? Um, Listen, I, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> when I point the talking stick at you, you know, <laughs> Ready? No, you can say ready. <laughs> ready. Ready. Okay, ready. Jim, go. How long did it take you to fit into the suit? How long? Very good question. Very good question. What amazes me when over the years we've all watched these films and all the the interviewers and reporters and television cameramen and people who make documentaries <coughs> and we are discussing something that represents the highest level of cinematic achievement, whether it's in the acting and the filming and the creation of the sets and costumes all this science and art and thought has gone together and they are faced with me, somebody who may represent at that moment the movies, and what is the question they are burning to ask? <laughs> is it hard in a costume? <laughs> or secondly, how'd you go to the bathroom in the costume? <laughs> or thirdly, how do you fit in the costume? Because you look a little tall. Oh, you play the other one. Oh! <laughs> you think I'm joking. <laughs> I don't have the imagination to make this kind of mm, thought processes. Um, so in answer to your question, on the first day, it took two hours to get me in the suit. Seventeen pieces of costume laid out, me wearing tights and a leotard and a kind of grimace because I knew we were starting to film. We'd been six months making the costume, tried out all sorts of things and then there we are in the desert in Tatooine. Yeah, Tatooine. <laughs> there are children. Let's not destroy everything. We're on Tatooine. Yeah. Um, very fine sand, the sun's coming up there, we're needing to film, and they're sticking these bits around me, starting with the middle, the kind of corset thing with a up the side, and then the little pants, which were in two bits at that time, and then a leg and a foot, and then the back of the leg and the leg and a foot, the back of the leg, and then front and back, and then arm and a hand, another arm and a hand. Then a neck, and then the head. <laughs> two hours, two hours, and the I have six people shoving and pushing, and me in the middle. Going, and finally, I'm ready. Finally, two hours. And some of you may have heard this true story before, but it's true. The tent flaps opened. And for the first time, 3PO stepped out onto a planet. And I could see through 3PO's eyes, directly in front of me, directly, directly. No side view, but like a camera looking at me. And I see the sun is rising here, hitting the costume like, And I see the American crew going, Oh my God, look at that, that's incredible. Have you seen that? Oh, the car is magical. And the English crew are going, that's really rather good, isn't it? <laughs> and the Tunisian crew who were helping us, the local people all went, oh my, oh my. Not until the Ewoks did I have that kind of reception. 